Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland here. Another box of Star Wars. Now you see break 16 on there. This is actually break 14. We, 14 and 15 are already sold out. And the last box from this case is on the website right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Now if you're watching this replay on, on YouTube, by the time you get to jazbeeshobbyland.com, this is gone. There'll be no more. But keep checking back. We should be getting like tops high-tech Star Wars, and all sorts of other fun stuff like that. So keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com. For this break right here, big thanks to Junia and Bowman for filling this one up. We've got three boxes left. We've got box five, seven, and eight left, but I'm just going to roll the die right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. One, two. So the top box right here, which is box five. I'm going to pop this open. Now, as I did last time, I'm going to mix up these boxes here. Just because I think people are saying that they're starting to see the uh, the same cards come out of the same box. So I just want to be able to, to mix it up really quick. There. There. I don't know if it really matters, but hey, we're just having fun here, folks. Just having a little fun. Box one, two, three, and four are right there. One is one again? Come on, Bowman. Really? I gotta I gotta work on my I gotta work on my sleight of hands. Sleight of hand. Alright, so let's randomize and see who gets which box. Uh oh, come on, random.org eleven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I, I can't take it off camera. I got to keep it on camera for transparency purposes. All right. So Bowman, you have one, two, and four. Junior, you have box three. Uh, Daniel Lynn, no, this is not the last break of the night. We've got. Uh, we've got the rest of the Star Wars boxes, actually, and then I think that'll be it. All right, so, like I said, Junior's box is number three right here. So we'll do Bowman's first. Kind of a heavier one, maybe. Is it the number one? Is it box one again? One is one, says Bowman. Might be. All right. Banta Butu on solo. Oh, oh, oh. 48 out of 50. And show a force Darth Maul. Darth Maul. Pretty sick. Sick lightsaber. Remember when everyone saw that in the theaters? They were like, And then like the great John Williams music. All right, there's Admiral Fiat. It's late, folks. What am I what are you gonna do? It's late. And there's Han Solo. And I thought they smelled bad on the outside. 42 out of 99. Battle of Hoth, Han Solo. That's a nice looking one. Very cool. All right, nice start, Bowman. Yeah, the, the out of 99 kind of gives you a different medallion sort of look there too. And that card is almost gold, right? Uh, box two. What is this right here? That printing plate? Boba Fett, you know, and then just Han Solo just starts shooting, you know, indiscriminately. Alien Identification Guide, Jabba's Guard, that's it? He just gets Jabba's Guard? You would think, like, every other creature at least has a name. Lucas is a great creator of worlds. 
Everything has names. This guy doesn't have a name. It's just Jabba's guard. His name is Jim, says Bowman. He's Jim. There you go. We're going to call him Jim from now on. Next time we see him in future products, guys, Jim. That's his name. Grand Moff Tarkin. Oh, and these Jawas right here. Man. These guys are always stealing stuff. They're taking your things. You know? I'm going to build a wall in Tatooine. Make the Jawas pay for it. Keep, keep the Jawas out. Make Tatooine great again. And the printing plate, no auto. Looks like there's kind of a manufacturing kind of thing right here. Looks like Tops bent it a little bit. Come on, Tops. It's a one of one, though. Great rivalry, C3PO and Salacious Crumb. Like, who ate his eye out, but I don't know. There, there's a bit of a. You see that, Bowman? So one of one, might you might be able to take that up with uh with tops. But there you go. And there's the uh, there's the great rivalry right there. It's a one of one, Bowman. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! Or I should get the horn that the Ewoks use. Maybe for the next Star Wars. Yeah. All right. And you have box four, Bowman. Junior, you have box three. Sorry. We've got Bib Fortuna, of course. Job is lackey. Great rivalries. Yes, Anakin Skywalker and Count Dooku. Um, I... I could do a Tusken Raider, I think, but the same thing happens with a Tusken Raider when I try to do my Al Pacino impression. It just wrecks my wrecks my throat, wrecks the voice. So I need a I need, I need like whiskey and all that sort of stuff to really get me to do it. And then I'll wake up the next morning and be like, why did I lose my voice? Oh right, because I was doing Al Pacino all night. Or Tusken Raider. <laughs> there's General Hux, there's Qui-Gon Jinn, even Liam Neeson. And Hugh McGregor couldn't save Phantom Menace. But there he is. He has a particular set of skills. Someone's got to do a parody movie with Qui-Gon Jinn as doing, like, Taken. You know what I mean? When Anakin gets taken. Huh? And there we go. Bobaggio. Aiden Cook. Is that, what is that? 19 out of 50. Nice. Uh, this was the guy in uh, in The Force Awakens. He's got that big sort of thing, and he kind of lumbers around like this. Um, what was cool about this in The Force Awakens is that uh, is that it was real. Like, they actually built this, you know? And there was, like, a guy inside controlling the thing. You know what I mean? Or maybe it was remote-controlled. Either way, it's real. It wasn't, like, CG. They actually built this character, which they don't... They don't do that anymore. So nice autograph, Bowman. Very nice. All right, Junior, let's see what you have in box three. Good luck. All it takes is one big hit. Let's see what we got in here for you. Th yeah, that's what practical effects for the win. That's what it's, yeah. I couldn't find the right name for it. All right. Ah, oh, Anakin Sky. Well, that, that's what terrible casting with Hayden Christensen. The dust, it gets everywhere. I want to see my mother. I was like, all right, grow up, dude. All right, great rivalries. There it is. We saw the printing plate earlier. There's Salacious Crumb. There's C-3PO. Get nightmares. Dust, it gets everywhere. All right. There's Ray. Great snow scene with Ray. Really love that scene there. Uh, the thing I thought was the coolest which I think we hadn't really heard before in the Star Wars universe, is that they're obviously in snow and the lightsaber hitting the snow and you can hear the evaporation, the sizzle of that. I thought that was really, really cool. You know? You hear the crackle of the lightsaber hitting the snow. That was a great moment. There's Captain Nita. And look at that. Aiden Cook again. Nice. 
So this is just the uh, base parallel. It's not number, Junior, but nice. You got Aiden Cook on card auto. Very cool. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was for Junior. And we've got another Star Wars coming up. Stick around. JaspiesHobbyland.com. May the Force be with you. That was break 14. 15.